In this video, we are going to add in some interior walls for a closet within our shed project. And this is a continuation from the previous videos where we did exterior walls and flooring. In my project browser, just so you are aware, I'm still in level one, which is also indicated up here. And we're going to navigate back to the architecture ribbon and we're going to click on the wall tool. Now we're going to be switching the properties panel from our exterior wall and we are going to be going to, or if we scroll down here, an interior 4 and 7 eighths partition. So I'm going to click on that. And very similar to what we did in the last two videos, we're going to edit a duplicate of this basic wall. So I'm going to click on edit type. I'm going to duplicate and I'm just going to add the word shed in front of this. So it's going to be our shed interior. And I'm going to hit OK. So we made a duplicate of that and we renamed it. And now we're going to make some changes. So under structure again, I'm going to click edit. And instead of a metal stud, we're going to click the three little dots here. So I left click to get in there, click the three little dots. And then under the material browser, we're going to search lumber like we did in the previous videos. And I'm going to double click on softwood lumber, which will add it. And then we're going to go ahead and change that thickness again. So we want the thickness to be four inches for that softwood lumber. And then I'm going to click OK and click OK again. So now I have my shed interior wall with my wood studs in the middle ready to go. And now that we're ready to start drawing our walls, I want to draw your attention again to this modify kind of green area. One of the things that you want to just always double check is where it's attaching to, the height, and where you're going to be drawing this thing at, or this wall at. It's going to be drawing from the center of the wall, just so you are aware. And I'm going to leave mine on wall center line, which is also indicated in the location line of the properties panel. So to do the interior walls, I'm going to do it a little bit different than what I did with the exterior. With the exterior, we used direct input and typed in the exact measurements of the walls. For this, I'm just going to rough in the closet, and then we'll adjust the dimensions later. So don't really worry about the lengths and the widths of the wall. Or I'm sorry, the lengths of the walls. Um, we'll fix that later on. So I'm going to just hover over the center of this uh, rear wall back here. So you notice I'm snapping to the center. Don't Again, don't worry about the number up top. I'm just going to click wherever. So I left click and then I'm going to move my mouse straight down, making sure I'm at 90 degrees. You can see that degrees right there. And then I'm going to left click again anywhere, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go over here and left click and snap to this left wall. Okay, so I've added... I've roughed in the closet. Now I'm still in the wall tool and I'm done drawing walls, so I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard. Now what we need to do is locate these walls with proper dimensioning. And I'm going to start with this wall of the closet. Whoops, I'm back in, there we go, I was back in the wall tool. So I'm going to left click this wall. As soon as I do that, you got some different things there popping up. You have some dimensions down here, which is what we're going to work with. We want to change this two foot six, and I'm going to change it to three feet and hit enter on the keyboard. So now I've just located that wall in a specific spot, and now that one's ready to go. Now I'm going to do the other wall, so I'm going to click on this wall now. And for this dimension, I'm going to change that to four foot dash six inches, and then hit enter on the keyboard. So now I have a standard closet in there just for some additional um, secluded storage within the shed. And that is it for the interior walls to create the closet within the shed. So I'm going to go ahead and save, and I will see you in the next video, which we will be adding in some doors. We'll be adding in a door for the closet and an overhead garage door to um, maybe pull in a lawnmower um, and give you some access into that garage.